Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, and today uh, I'm just going to be showcasing another uh, battle that I've made. Uh, not a campaign, this is a battle like fighting the Phalanx, uh, but this one is a sort of Napoleonic style, more style battle. Uh, this is, uh, if you don't know what this is, this is a, an infantry square, um, something that was made famous in the Napoleonic era, um, where infantry units would form into a square to, to defend against cavalry charges where they just sort of have a a, a box around them um, yeah they, they they just make a box uh, and any cavalry that charges at them will have to face a row of bayonets and angry people with with muskets uh, and so that's what I've got here I've got a French uh, French infantry square uh, as you can see here nice and nice and happy um, took a little bit to set up but not not too much um, the main lines are six men long for the inner for the inner row, uh, eight men along for the second row, and then uh, ten men along for the final row. So we've got a total of 89 soldiers here. Well, 89 units. You take away the five in the middle, and you've got what 84. Um, yeah, about 84. Uh, French effective fighting units, which are all of these infantrymen. I thought of maybe putting um, grenadiers in front of them, just so that they would have a, a, a grenade throw. Um, but instead, I just decided to stick with the regular riflemen here. So yeah, they're just here as a, a as just their square. They've got the off French officer in the middle, uh, and they've also got four standard bearers, well, colour parties around um, on each square, just to keep them staying there because otherwise they would likely drift off as they try and put some distance between themselves and and the enemy so yeah this is on the workshop I'll have a link to it in the description if you wanted to download it and, and try it out yourself um, and you can just sort of like try out whatever you want so you can try out various different uh, various different army compositions to try it try and kill them out so let's try out the Ottomans here first of all. You've not seen the Ottomans before, I don't think. I've not used them in a battle before. So, uh, I've got some hand gunners here. The hand gunners, they're um, Janissaries, which have got um, the blunderbuss. But instead of the blunder, but instead of firing blunderbuss shots, it fires um, grenades. <laughs> yeah, it just fires that. If it just fires the grenades, the same as the uh, same as the grenadiers. So it fires just a grenade like this, it'll be fired, it'll bounce around a bit and then it'll explode. So yeah, those are the hand gunners, that's the that's the special unit of the Ottomans. Um and then we've just got regulars, so let's just put down ten there and then we'll do we'll just do a line of ten. Forty and then again for fifty. There you go, and then we'll put down a colour party or two, and then an officer, just in charge of them, and then the, uh, yeah, because they're Ottoman regulars, and then the Janissaries. Janissaries are, are the Ottoman replacement for the Marines, because um, the English, well, the British have got Royal Marines, um, obviously there, and then the French have got their own Marines there, uh, the Prussians don't have marines. <laughs> They've got fusiliers. Yeah, I gave the Prussians fusiliers for their for their special unit and then the Ottomans have obviously got the hand gunner. Um, and then the Janissaries are, are yeah, just a replacement for the uh, oh, uh yeah, sorry. One, two, three, and then yeah, so the Janissaries are just a replacement for the Marines. Uh, so let's put down some of these guys, shall we? There and then ten. There you go. And then we'll put down a like two color parties. It's one, two. Then another officer. So there you go. Um, yeah, eighty-six Frenchmen versus well, eighty-nine Frenchmen versus eighty-six Ottomans. And the Ottomans have got a bit of a spread going on here. So let's see how this goes for them. Obviously, tabs isn't exactly the best at showing. Napoleonic era of warfare, as we can see, <laughs> French Square didn't exactly do what I wanted them to do, and that's a lot of dead Frenchmen. Um, the Ottoman, the two sides of the Ottomans here, yeah, they they lost 
two men. Two men there. They obviously lost all of the hand gunners, so you'll not see not see the hand gunners in this battle. But all of the Janissaries are still alive, and the Janissaries, I'm fairly certain, will reload quicker because they are the replacement for the Marines, and the Marines have got a one point like two times attack speed so they reload slightly quicker than the average infantryman anyway so these Frenchmen aren't going to have much oh this guy's still alive so these Frenchmen aren't, aren't going to live for much longer um yeah the infantry square didn't exactly hold up <laughs> it's, it just really got squished um but yeah now it's just a case of them reloading the Janissaries are they going to be the ones to reload first let's have a look yeah there goes one of them yeah, see, that they've reloaded quicker, and there they go. So, yeah, um, I think a bit of friendly fire actually happened on the Ottoman regulars. Um, but, yeah, the Frenchmen definitely didn't... definitely didn't hold up their square very well. <laughs> so, yeah, they, they didn't have they didn't have too much fun, did they? Um, let's try out against actual cavalry, shall we? Um, obviously, I know people are just going to be, like, funny tank send to musketmen, but then the musketmen will just do that anyway, so I mean a tank in this scenario just the volley just the volley firepower of the Napoleonic Square just destroyed the tank. So you'll need multiple tanks to take out the Frenchman here. Um but even then I think two tanks uh, two tanks might actually do it. How much health do these guys have left? Uh, not too much. Yeah there goes one. My god, running down all of the infantrymen. Come on, Frenchmen, reload. Oh, I don't think they're quite going to do it. There, not quite. Maybe if we... Again, a bit sidetracked here. This is this is modern cavalry. This isn't... This isn't old... Oldie cavalry. Was that actually worse? Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 that was, that was better for the French. I mean, they still lost most of their units here, but still, no, the French managed to... French managed to destroy the tanks, good. Um, so yeah, let's actually get regular cavalry. Um, regular cavalry is under... Not legacy, it's under secret. Because uh, there's, there's... There's jousters in the regular medieval faction, but then there's actual cavalry here. Which isn't... It's not quite... I mean... Yeah. <laughs> They're not quite quite uh, Napoleonic dragoons, but <laughs> they're the closest we've got. <laughs> so there you go. Um, horsemen versus Napoleonic Square. I mean, yeah, the Napoleonic Square just did its thing and just shot them before they managed to get before they managed to get anywhere close. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, the square the square holds its shape for like the first few seconds of the battle but anywhere after that the square just disintegrates. Let's try putting double the amount of horsemen. There you go, so 16 horsemen, 89 Frenchmen, they've got nearly 30k cost, these guys have got 8.7k. I mean, they might all still die to the muskets. You never know. But, there they go. Bang. No. They didn't all die to the muskets. I mean, Basically all the cavalry died to the muskets, all of the horses. Oh no, one guy lives! He's charging the square! Look at him go! The brave winged hussar, charging into the square, the infantry square. Ah, his horse is already dead. Oh, in goes, in goes a couple of the colour parties trying to do their bit. Yeah, I think he's the only survivor. Yeah, he was the only one to actually get into the square, and when he did, the horse just instantly died, which was the point of the... It was the point of the of the square. Um, let's put down even more cavalry, shall we? Uh, so how many is that? 11, 12, so 24. There you go. 24 cavalry. Surely this will have split up the French firepower enough to allow the cavalry to actually... Yeah, so there they go. No, I think the firepower is still too much. Oh no, we've got three cavalrymen. Three cavalrymen on one side. Charging the square, and then we got one guy over there. In they go. Okay, the dragoons are charging. Uh, the square is... The square is collapsing, I do have to admit. 
in Total War, I mean, <laughs> the the units aren't quite as uh, aren't quite as rigid to their formations as they are in Total War. So the infantry square here didn't quite didn't quite stay around for as much as I want. But these these armored dragoon replacements are, are I mean, they're doing their thing. Um, two Frenchmen have just died there, but I mean. And if you're wondering why I'm using Frenchmen instead of a British square, um, it's because these guys are on the blue team, and I didn't want to use the red team as the defenders because I wasn't sure how that was going to work when you actually went to play it. I didn't know whether you would be a part of the infantry square or whether you'd be a part of the blue team attacking, and I think it defaults to red team, so... Yeah. In comes the, dra the Dragoon again. Uh, the Frenchmen are still reloading. I mean, this guy's... Still trying his best to bayonet some people, but in comes the cavalryman. In he charges. Yeah, he's he's taken down some of the Frenchmen, but yet yeah. in go some bayonets, trying to skewer the horse. Oh, the horse has got a bit stuck on on, a, on another horse body, which is not good for the not good for the cavalryman. Is he going to disengage and try and charge in again? No, he's still he's still going for it. He's still going for it. I mean, the colour parties are mostly dead, which is why you've now got this this unit of line infantry just forming a line. Um, this cavalryman is still alive. These Frenchmen just aren't willing to get into get into melee combat with their bayonets. Currently, what we've got here is we've the square has split into three different units of into three different units of line infantry. We've got a unit of line infantry back there. We've got these guys back here who are still under the sway of I think a colour party. And there he goes. And then we also have this little blob of this little blob of French regulars. Um, so yeah, I mean, against 24 cavalrymen, they lost a fair bit of their number. Uh, n hopefully, not much of it was to friendly fire, but yeah, the 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 square didn't quite work. <laughs> I mean, they managed to break through the square, and they just ended up creating. The cavalrymen just ended up making three units of line infantry for them to have to fight instead of one concise square, which. Not sure how that would have been useful to them, but our cavalryman as well, who was the last one actually alive on his horse, fell with his fell with his horse right here. I mean, he must have been skewered by the same bayonet, possibly. Um, but yeah, okay, there you go. There, there's that. <laughs> there's the cavalryman. I mean, it's sort of working. It's sort. It's sort of working. It's tabs. It's not exactly. It's not exactly the most realistic of battle simulators, despite what they try and claim. Um, yeah, let me see if I can't put down some of these hand mortars and actually show you what the hand mortars do. Spreading them around here, sort of like 50. There you go, let's see if one of these guys don't actually fire. Okay, the Frenchmen have fired, but there's still a few hand gunners. Yeah, there they go, you see. The blunderbuss fires a grenade instead, and uh, yeah, these hand grenades just sort of will explode in the French square. There's one over there exploding. There's one, oh, very nice. Oh, taking out a lot of Frenchmen there. Yeah, there's another one. Oh, and another one. Where's the last Ottoman that's still alive? Oh, that guy over there. Yeah, so he he's done all right. Where's the other guy? Oh, here he is. He's been chucked away a bit. But yeah, they have to be very close range, as you can see. These guys, even though they've been blasted backwards by their by the explosions, they're still having to move forwards to get in range. I mean, they could technically just let the grenade bounce, but this is Tab's AI, so they don't think that. They just think, got to get in range. So, yeah, there's that. So we've got four, four hand gunners left alive. Or is that five? Oh, no, that, that's one, two, three, four, five. Five hand gunners. Yeah, there's another explosion there. There goes another one. Possibly, no, didn't quite blast that guy back. Oh, Frenchman is starting to reload now. The square... Mm. The square has been slightly cut in two, as we can see. The hand gunners are... Oh, there they go. Oh, there's a grenade. Very nice explosion, landing right in the middle of them. Oh, that one's going to be a nice explosion. Oh, these two are going to be nice. Oh, there's a good one. Oh, and there goes another one. Oh, absolutely destroying the Frenchman. I mean, you can see the power of the hand gunners, but at the same time... Well, hand mortars, but at the same time you can see exactly how they're not not the best of unit <laughs> due to their close range requirements. 
I mean, the Frenchmen, there they go, finally. I mean, they lost a couple of guys right at the end, but... They, they stood up relatively well. I say that, there's still quite a few dead Frenchmen about, but... Uh, still, yeah, there you go. That's actually the handgunners in action. Um, 50 handgunners. 50 handgunners are about the same price as this entire infantry square. So there you go. <laughs> um, but yeah, there you go. You can you can find the infantry square um, on the on the Steam Workshop. Uh, not Steam Workshop because they don't use the Steam Workshop. On the mod the IO Workshop, and I've, like I said, there'll be a link in the description for it. Um, so yeah, I'll thank you all for watching and goodbye.